Hi everyone! In the PUBG Mobile version 2.2 update, Erangel is getting an overhaul with changes to the map, vehicles, and modes. Without further ado, let's find out what these changes are. In this update, we made several changes to the map. First, the hospital. It's one of the bigger buildings in Erangel. In this update, the following changes were made to the hospital. How to get in and out of the hospital, its structure, nearby objects, and the vegetation surrounding the hospital. Veteran players should know that some of the fences of the hospital can be scaled to enter the hospital. The ones near the ridges are how most players enter the hospital. Now, two spots along these fences will be blown up, and players can enter the hospital area through the gap directly. The building itself also got a new entrance. Players that are on the ground can enter the first floor of the hospital directly through the newly added damaged wall. Those who parachute to the hospital can land on the roof and descend to the third floor immediately. These changes will make it easier for players to spot the entrances and streamline their movements in this area. Those attacking and defending will know where they should focus on as well. On the inside, we simplified the structure of the hospital. Originally, the three floors had different layouts, and there were many rooms on each floor. So, searching the rooms was very tedious, because players had to go into each room. After the update, the three floors are now more or less the same. Some rooms are now also connected, making it easier for players to remember and to search the rooms for supplies. As for the surroundings, we also made some improvements. We added abandoned ambulances and ruined medical crates to the areas surrounding the hospital, so now it feels more authentic. We placed some objects at the entrance of the hospital, so that it wouldn't be too empty. This gives players heading toward the hospital a covered area to protect themselves, so they are not directly exposed to enemies inside the hospital. Outside the fences on the side of the hospital, we added a new climbable spot. Players can hide here, or they can scale the fence to enter the hospital. As for the fences by the ridge, since there are now two gaps to enter the hospital, we've reduced the number of objects in this area to make it more visible. So now, both attackers and defenders can see each other clearly. Further out from the hospital, we've added some new vegetation, so the players hanging around the hospital will have more places to hide. Milta Power also saw some changes that are mostly in the generator area. Players who are familiar with this area should already know that this section was quite a choke point and was not easy to get in and out of. Those who entered either came out the same way or had to take a detour to the other two buildings. In this update, we added a new entrance on the first floor to make this area more reachable and easier for players to get in and out. The layout was also modified. We simplified the complex floor plan so the players can see more and plan their routes better. When battles break out in the generator building, players will have more offensive options, making these battles more exciting. In this update, three new ports will be added to Erangel. The first port is by Fairy Pier. We added a port here, as well as increased the amount of resources in the area. The Fairy Pier will soon be more abundant in supplies. The two desolate beaches to the southwest of Farm and to the south of Sosnovka military base will also get new ports. They will both contain a good amount of resources. Players will also find boats at these ports, so they can quickly travel to another location. So, keep these places in mind because they'll make for a great landing spot. During the previous themed modes, players really enjoyed the special crates. In the new version, we'll add special supply kits to classic mode. Players will be able to find special supply kits in buildings. There are three types, medical, tokens, and military supplies. The resources in these supply kits are very good, so keep an eye out for them when searching. In the new version, bikes will become a staple vehicle on Erangel. In some of the more remote areas, players will find bicycle sheds. Each shed will have four bikes initially, and they're first come, first served. These bikes can be collapsed and put into the backpack, so they're really convenient for traveling to other locations. In addition to the sheds, players will be able to find bikes in other areas. With a bike, players no longer have to worry about being too far from the play zone. In the new Erangel, there will be flash shops. They will spawn randomly in outdoor areas. Those who find one are in for a treat because there are tons of random discounted items. So keep an eye out for flash shops during matches. Running out of fuel is one of the worst things that can happen while driving a vehicle. Erangel's gas stations will become functional for refueling vehicles. For the cost of just a few tokens, you'll get a full tank of gas. Find a gas station and try it out. These are the main changes in the version 2.2 update. For more details, don't forget to follow the official PUBG mobile community. Winner winner chicken dinner! See you next time!